Hi guys, hope you're doing well and welcome back. If you're new here, my name is B Monica and this channel is all about home cleaning, home organization and a bit of home decor. Uh, for those of you who have been with me since day one, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate it and uh, please continue to share my videos so that, because right now we are on the road to 2000 subscribers and I know we can do it. Yeah guys, I have done a video on how to clean a washing machine and due to that, so many of you have been asking me questions about it. Yeah, that's why I've decided to at least do a short review about it and uh, tell you guys about, about my experience having it. Yeah, guys. So that's what I'll be doing. And uh, let's begin. So, guys, this is our laundry section. And this is where, this is where we place our, our washing machine. And uh, for the for the products that I use for cleaning the house, this is where I, this is where I store them. Yeah, guys, and uh, the reason as to why we decided to put this washing machine here, it's because uh, this house it didn't have a laundry. No, it has a laundry section which is outside at the balcony, and we could not place the the, the machine outside. So we decided to improvise this place to make it to make it usable. Uh, so guys, the first thing, the first improvisation that we made was to. To create a socket because this place didn't have a it didn't have a socket and uh, you know that when uh, when you, when installing a machine wash you need three things that is the power source the water inlet area and also the water outlet area and all those things guys we improvised for starters for the power source we decided to source the power from from the from the shower heater this is because uh, you know uh, a machine which requires uh, a lot of power while performing and uh, the heater the, the shower heater has a lot of its fuels is stronger than that of uh, let's say the the switch the the switch lights yeah yeah so that's why the that's why the power source has, is uh, emanating from from here so the socket the socket is down there guys i don't know if you're able to see it yeah, that's our socket and for the out for the inlet section the tap water the sink tap sorry the sink tap shares the same water source with the machine as you can see yeah this is the adjoining area this thing here and uh, for the drainage guys we decided to place the hose pipe here so that water can easily drain through the sink yes guys so those are the three improvisations that we had to make to to have a laundry section in the house guys this is this is the machine and uh, just a minute its capacity is 12 kg it's 12 kgs uh yeah uh, actually initially we wanted to purchase a 10.5 kgs but uh, we later on settled on this the only difference is the is the capacity uh but the spe the specs the specs are the same actually when uh, when buying the machine at that time it was on offer this one this one was, was on offer but the other one wasn't uh and imagine we bought it at almost not the same price it was below the 10.5 kg price so yeah guys as i was telling you before the price of this 12 kg was below that of 10.5 kg at that time uh, and the only difference was the 2 kg capacity we saw it as a better deal then decided to go for decided to go for this uh we did buy it online actually we bought it online from uh, lg brand shop uh where they safely delivered it at home then later installed it for us the machine is a front loader uh, as you can see and it is a wash only uh, we didn't see the need of purchasing a wash and dryer because one it was more expensive than what you we were budgeting for and another thing we are in that part of the world where sunshine is no problem and actually the clothes are always almost dry after a cycle so what what you do is just hang them outside for a short time for them to be completely dry some of the specs of this machine that exceeded the others are, are one it's artificial intelligent feature where it's able to detect the type of fabric whether it's delicate it's a mixed fabric or cotton or even others then 
be able to program the watch cycle to be used that is the the motion the temperature and also set the time for for an optimal wash another good thing about the ai feature is that it can also connect with the lg's thank you mobile app to provide notifications when the laundry detergent is running low Another good thing about this machine is its turbo wash function where it can perform a cycle within 39 minutes. Although I don't use it for all fabrics because uh, it uses more spin speed and that can ruin, that can ruin a garment. Yeah guys and this the, the A++ plus negative 60% actually means that it is, more efficient, it is more efficient than the other machines that only have the A++. I've actually never used this smart thinking option, although I already installed the app, it's in my phone, uh, but it does help a lot because you can be able to control the machine even when you're not in the house. And uh, once a cycle is finished, it will notify you. Uh, I think I've been skeptical about using it because uh, actually I've never done laundry while not around the house, but I will give it a try and see how, see how it goes. I can't talk about this twin wash option because I don't really understand it but it's like one can be able to do laundry in the front section and also below but it's something that needs to be bought and, and installed. Uh, I think it simply enables you to do more laundry in one cycle right because it increases the capacity. You don't have it though. So yeah guys this is the control panel and uh, this is the control panel and this is the power button and uh, also the stop the start and stop button uh, so these are all the options that you can choose from depending on the type of fabric it's actually quite straightforward and easy to operate uh, yeah the allergy care is for those for those people who are allergic to say strong strong detergent and fabric conditioners uh, i think you can also use this option for baby clothes but myself i've never used it before another thing i see a lot of people wash their shoes in the machine wash but i've never tried that because in its manual there's a part that warns against washing shoes in it maybe i read it wrong because i only went through the manual once and i've never bothered to do it again i think i'll have to try to go through it once more to confirm to confirm that and see if it's true what i read and guys, there are more functions and options, uh, the steam for wrinkle care and also the turbo wash plus rinse plus, which means you can add another rinse cycle when turbo washing. Uh, I use the pre-wash mainly when I'm doing the white clothes, which need to be first soaked in a bleach before performing the main cycle. I usually find this so good because the clothes always turn out quite clean and bright as compared to when I only use the signated cycle. Yeah, you can also be able to add an item after starting a cycle. Just press the add item button, then press stop. Uh, after the addition, just continue your laundry and it will just pick up from where it had stopped. It normally has such an interesting sound when switched on and also when the laundry is finished. The finishing sound is usually so musical. And by the way, my son knows because whenever he hears that sound, it's like he knows that the laundry is done and uh, he'll always call me wherever I am to let me know. Actually, his intention is always to zip down the cover because that is what he kind of does every time. But I'm glad he knows that because that keeps him away from the machine and uh, he never plays with it. He only zips it down then continues with whatever he was doing before. So yeah guys, those are some of the reasons that we considered before purchasing the machine and uh, it has served us so well. I don't have any regrets and uh, before I finish, I forgot to talk about its tab clean option where you can use it to, to monthly clean your machine. Yeah, and for monthly cleaning, what I usually do is add a little vinegar in the detergent dispenser section, then run the tab clean cycle. I also always wipe the door and the rubber gasket uh, in a solution of water and vinegar. And uh, I had done a video on how to clean a washing machine and uh, that the procedure that I used is actually recommended to be used after every six months. But for monthly cleaning, I normally just use the tub clean option and it always leaves the, the machine smelling so fresh guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
that's it for me today and I hope that the insights that I shared are of help in case you are considering to purchase a washing machine. Uh, thank you so much guys for joining me and for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Until the next time.